Hey, random video, and uh, I'm gonna say this to start with. Uh, had a cocktail, had some food, been alone all day. You know, I, I'm uh, I'm trying to get myself in the mode for uh, siege of Jerusalem, and I'm reading and have been for the last couple of weeks. Uh, there we go. The Jewish War by the man on the spot himself, Josephus. And I, I, I'm reading some of these things, I'm thinking, wow, I'm playing the Jews, I'm getting my ass kicked here so bad. But uh, there's some really, uh, I, I love the way these books are written and translated, and, and it's, you know, it's, it, I look at this as primary source material. Typically I like to have a look at those things, but in the context of reading another book, and uh, so like Adrian Goldsworthy's books on Rome and the Roman civilization and generalship and, Caesar and all that sort of good stuff and then be able to go back and refer to Titus or Leviticus or whatever the case may be Leviticus really uh, Livy and uh, <clears throat> and see what um, what uh, the quotes have really have to say and look at the, the direct translation so but I, I, I want to read you two things just to kind of get us in the framework for the posts that I'm going to make tomorrow about uh, about the siege of Jerusalem so Josephus uh, circle the wall striving to keep out of range but within hearing and appealing to them again and again to spare themselves and their people their country and their temple and not to show themselves more indifferent than were the foreigners and then it, it skips along and went into a bunch, a bunch of stuff but uh, did they not see their strongest walls lying flat uh, and only the weakest wall was still standing this was uh, at the period of time when uh, very quickly, Titus had uh, taken uh, the first wall, which was abandoned by the Jews, and then as the second wall uh, started to crumble, they, or not crumble, but uh, was, was overthrown, uh, they very quickly abandoned that as well. So, uh, and, and uh, Titus uh, uh, made a mistake of not uh, taking advantage of that and burning down that part of the city and raising that part of the city, uh, but uh, he was a little more lenient because he's, he had a, a ultimate strategic and political goal in mind. Um, so he didn't do that uh, at that point in time. And so then uh, it says, so uh, did they not know that the might of Rome was invincible and submission to her an everyday experience? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Imagine that country being so powerful that uh, they would just, people would bow down before you, kind of like the, uh, the Persians uh, prior to Rome. Uh, if indeed, uh, if it indeed was right to fight for freedom, they should have done so at the start. Once they had been crushed and had, submi had submitted for years, to try then to shake off the yoke was to show not a love of freedom, but a morbid desire for death. So I'm reading this thinking, Man, it's not gonna be good. So let's fast forward a little bit, uh, just a couple of pages, and uh, we'll look at uh, what the, uh, well, actually, you know, I'm not going to read this part. It, it might be a little troll for some of you guys who know your history well. But uh, it, this is new to me. I, <clears throat> I've had this book for several years, and I haven't had a chance to, uh, to read it yet. Uh, I've read uh, a lot of the other titles out of this uh, Penguin Classics series. Don't laugh at me for buying Penguin Classics. I can hear you guys chuckling. Uh, anyway. Uh, so now the Jews are talking amongst themselves, and uh, the, the defense was very divisive the entire time. Uh, there's clans and factions and arguments and people killing each other, and I'm not going to help those guys because if I help them, then they're going to screw me, and if I, don't, uh, if I don't help them, then I can screw them later. And then finally, once the, the, real, you know, the real battle started, they kind of all you know, bonded together, and the zealots uh, helped drive a lot of the... Uh, the bonding and the leadership of both, the, oh, well, not both, but of many of the factions kind of got together and got their, their asses in gear. So, need I speak of our fathers sojourn in Egypt? They were crushed and subject to foreign rulers for 400 years. This is the Jewish leader speaking right now. But though uh, they might have resisted with weapons in their own right hand, they committed them, their cause to God. So, the Jews are saying, you know, let's not just go and jump into this and use the right hand and the and, and the sword in the hand let's we need to we need to honor god in all of this as well so anyway uh you know there's a whole bunch of really good stuff in here i'm getting ready to read uh, play this game tomorrow read the rules once it's going to be a disaster 
but uh, I think I picked up a few tips on uh, BGG and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's my little uh, uh, early evening post. We'll take it from there.